I mean, one of the things I really like about the psychologist Jean Piaget, who's who I would say the world's foremost expert on games, is that he did a very careful analysis of, say, competitive games. Okay, so let's take hockey or soccer. It doesn't matter. Same example. Okay, you say, well, because people now, they, they have kids play these games and don't keep score, which, of course, the kids keep score because they're not stupid like the adults. But, you know, well, we can't have it be competitive. Okay, so let's take it apart. It's like, well, is hockey a competitive game or a cooperative game? Okay, well, so first of all, everyone's trying to do the same thing. So that's cooperative. It's not like half the people are playing chess and another, you know, a third of them brought a basketball and two of them are boxing in a, co well, sometimes they do in hockey, boxing in a corner, but everyone's trying to do the same thing. So that's cooperative. Okay, everyone plays their position. That's cooperative. They all follow the same rules. That's cooperative, right? So, so there's competition, but it's nested inside a fundamental structure of cooperation. And the cooperation is... the. Cooperation is the basis of the game itself. Let's all arbitrarily agree that it's important to put this black disc in the net, which is to get your aim right, and then let's cooperate within our teams to do that because we're going to pass and we're going to, we're going to pass to each other and we're also going to work so that each of us is a good player but so that we all work for the betterment of our team because we want to win games across multiple games. So that's also cooperative. And then you want to interact with your your enemies, let's say, the other team, in a way that's indicative of good sportsmanship so that the entire league can flourish. And to think of that as competitive is absolutely, it's so, um, I, there's no other way of describing it than stupid. That's what it is. It's, a, it's, a, it's an ignorant unidimensional analysis. It's put forward by someone who's reflexively opposed to anything that smacks of competition and who isn't thinking it through at all. They, they're denying the benefits of competition and the fact that they reap those very benefits of competition by enjoying the products that are created by these corporations. Yes, yes. Well, it's and, very hi hypocritical. And well, well, that's for sure. That's called a performative contradiction. It's like, well, I like to, I like to complain about left-wing issues on my iPhone. Right. Exactly. You know, it's yeah. like, well, yeah, f fair enough, but you know, you should have a little gratitude for the fact that you've got your iPhone to complain about. And those, and those organizations, those. Uh, corporations are unbelievably competitive unbelievably. And, and they fall apart yeah. almost instantly when that competition starts start, stops being a an issue because then there's no constraint on the behavior of the behavior of the system